These tents spread across various camps in the northeast have absorbed approximately 2.2 million internally displaced persons in Nigeria so far. In spite of these safety zones, the surge in suicide bombings have also resulted to a surge in the number of displaced persons. The resultant pressure calls for reinforcement to avoid a crisis situation. The process for the adoption of the national policy began in 2012. Here we are five years later still without a national policy. We have called this meeting so that we may together wrap minds and explore all possible ways to get the national IDP policy adopted and passed into law. At this meeting to reevaluate the policy on internally displaced persons, many appeal for a proper framework to drive the policy and shun plain any politics with it. The protection of IDPs in camps is very important and that also explains why we need to ensure that you know uh, the reintegration of IDPs locally is important, their return to a safe environment you know, it's also important. And these are all clarified in the document. And that's why we're doing a last review of it so that there will be no politics again uh, in the document and its implementation. The displaced, however, has berated the federal government's claim that it provides adequately for them. I live there, I sleep there, I wake up there daily facing the same problem. No food, no breakfast, no lunch, no dinner. Since January to this date, it is only once food that was donated to us, only materials that were donated to us by individuals and NGOs uh, 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 was shared. As the government promises to push action on the policy, growing calls for help continues to reverberate. Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.